So what is it about television, though, that that makes it the place where you want to tell your stories? I mean, what is it that you think television can do right now, specifically, that a film can't or a novel can't? Or well, you have an, you have a, an adult audience for a start. You have, I mean, the big audience for movies, as you know, is uh, teens and early twenties, whereas we have thirty to death, and that's a big group. <laughs> Uh, like and, the dead part. But you know, you can have adult themes, you can have complicated themes, not everything is resolved. People can have uh, emotionally contradictory natures, all sorts of stuff. Whereas if you're trying to put that into a movie, who are we rooting for? You get these absolutely <laughs> idiotic notes. Whereas in a television thing, because it is character narrative, really, that's what all television is, is character narrative, because we get the public to invest in these people for one reason or another. And we've got the space to do it hour after hour, week after week, year after year. And, and you can't do that in a picture. So you can have a really complicated, grown-up narrative, a grown-up emotional journey that is full of twists and turns and all the rest of it. And I think that's very interesting. I think that's what people enjoy. Well, the, and that's it. It's the, rela it's the ongoing relationship with the audience where a movie is like an awesome date. Uh, a TV show is a marriage. Uh, that you are entering into with an audience and it can go on for years and years and years and years and that also makes the storytelling incredibly powerful if you if you're doing it right and I'm saying this as a viewer and somebody who makes it as well but just the momentum that things can have the emotional resonance that thing can, things can have built over a year over several years seeing characters change over that amount of time it's incredible and uh, it's, it's, I think it's one of the things that is driving uh, this golden, platinum, silver, <laughs> silver. black age. Onyx. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, if you have 13 episodes in a season, that's the equivalent of making seven movies in one year. Uh, the most successful screenwriter on the planet uh, might take them a decade to get seven movies uh, up on screen. Uh, I mean, to know that you're going to work on this material, 800 pages or whatever it is, and that it will all be shot and that people will see it is extraordinary. Um, and for me, personally, uh, the collaborative aspect of making a television show is totally different um, than working on a film. Uh, you, you have an ongoing dialogue uh, with uh, the other writers in the room, if you have a room. You have an ongoing dialogue with the actors. Um, you can absorb what they're doing in front of the camera, let their voice, their instincts, their body language inform scripts to come, talk about them with where the character is going, work with lots of different directors who all bring their voice uh, and, and creativity and originality to your show, expanding, expanding it and deepening it. Uh, so you have this, this organic thing that continues to grow. Uh, and, uh, and you get to work with a lot of great people uh, who's uh, own creativity is, is sort of pour, poured into the pool um, and you know several hundred heads are better than one. I don't think several hundred heads are better than one. <laughs> I completely disagree with you. I, um, I, I, I agree yeah, about you would character. Be, you would be nothing without your actors. No, the actors are fine and developing the performances, but the 1,700 heads in the producer's office are the ones I have a problem with. But actually, talking, we're very I'm lucky. About, I'm talking about collaborating on the, on the creative side. But we know. only have three of us making our show, and I think that is incredibly luxurious compared to a show in America where you have these whole shoals of producers, it seems to me, coming in all with the right to give you notes. And I think that's why in most of the shows that are standouts, you'll find that isn't what happened. The standout shows are when a clear vision is allowed to get through onto the screen. And when you have the huge committee telling you how to make the show, that's when they don't really ever get off the ground, I think. I wasn't clear about what I was saying. I'm not talking about reams and reams of notes. I'm talking about the fact that no one person can make a great television show. And you can have a showrunner, you can have someone who, who has to ultimately decide uh, and make decisions, uh, but if you're not uh, sort of absorbing the greater world around you and there's all the people whose creativity are required in order to make it larger than any one person, then I think you're limiting yourself, you know? I mean, it's just like 
you know, Orson Welles would have been nothing without Herman Mankiewicz, you know, and without his great cinematographer, and he would have been the first to say so. Uh, I, I think that, you know, there is a lot of attention paid to the showrunner uh, now more than ever, uh, but it's a lie to think that these people are solely responsible for the success of a show.